Hi, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We have Paula from Cl Cloud Club Collective here with us tonight. And I am so excited. I can't wait for this workshop. My name is Angela Merkins, by the way. I'm with the Rec Innovation Lab and we have our whole team here. We are a student, or sorry, a college startup uh, incubator here at Miramar College. And I just wanna say thank you for being here. Just to let you know, we're gonna put a survey in the chat for everyone. If you could give us some feedback, that would be great. And I'm gonna hand it over to Paula. I think it'd be amazing if you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Cloud Club. Thanks, Paula. Thank you, Angela, and thanks everyone. Hi, I'm Paula, for those of you that don't know me, and I am joined today with Holly Mori and my other co-founder, Nick. And Holly's gonna be sharing her screen with our, our slide deck on it. I'll let you know that Nick's going to be monitoring the chat. So if any questions uh, come up along the way, uh, feel free to put that in the chat and he'll be managing that. All right. Okay, so we're ready to go. So creative professionals like all of you. Oh, Paula, before you start, I just wanted to let you know, you have a bar with all the photos of everyone. Is there any chance you could minimize that? Um, you're, we have these bars at the top and on the right side. So we oh, just Holly. couldn't see your slide deck. That would be Holly. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thank there? you so much. Yeah, that's weird how that's showing up. I see it. I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, is that your, oh, if you click on the three dots, is it the zoom bar? You can hide the navigation pane. I think that's different. Oh, is it? It might be within the presentation. Okay. Well, that works. If you want to leave it lower, that, that works, I think. So Sorry. we're going to have some mystery bars in our presentation <laughs> and we'll ask you to come up with the solution for what they are. <laughs> So as I was saying, um, we're happy to be here. We are the co-founders of Cloud Club Collective. And as all of you are creative professionals, it's really important that you're able to activate your imagination so that you can consistently generate high quality ideas. And we know that artists and musicians and writers all have their own creative practice. But do you, as an entrepreneur, have your own creative practice? Because you need to be thinking creatively as you explore and experiment and play with ideas and processes before you can then move them into the execution zone. Uh, we know that you are really creative professionals. You're in a creative profession, and it's important that you develop that creative pr practice so that you can realize your potential. Creativity is the ability to use your imagination to generate new possibilities. And so, next slide, please. As entrepreneurs, what you're doing is bridging the gap between the creative genius and the traditional business approach. So this is a flow of the entrepreneurial process, which by the way, is similar to the creative and design processes. And it starts with preparation. That's where you are gathering in information and you are doing your research and you're looking for a void to fill. The next phase is incubation. We tend to skip that one and that is when we pause we let things percolate. We allow the conscious mind to go, go quiet, stop judging us, and we can free associate to come up with those new ideas that lead to that illumination. When we have an idea for a solution that we can then start to prototype and move into the validation process before executing. So Cloud Club Collective is really here for that incubation phase that so many and so people and so often in organizations especially is undervalued and also skipped over. So what we do is we have our proven techniques 
to develop creativity and inspiration on demand. And so tonight, we're going to be uh, walking you through some overviews of these experiences that we provide. This is going to be a very interactive workshop. So you're going to want to make sure you have something to capture your thinking. So pen and paper, or if you have a digital note taking device, whatever works for you. But you're going to want to be able to um, jot down your thinking as we go through. And so with that, Holly's going to launch us into the first challenge. All right. Hi, everyone. Great to be here. So we're going to experience using our creative problem solving. And we're going to start off by writing down the word that represents your industry. So for example, working as a teacher, you might jot down education. So go ahead and do that now. All right. So what we'd like you to do is select one or more of the icons that you see on the left of your screen and the word you chose for your industry and then mash them together to create a new opportunity and then sketch that new opportunity. So you can kind of interpret the icons however you want. It doesn't really matter if you look at the icons and you see something, someone else might see something different and that's okay. So in your mashup, here's an example. So for me, the word that represents my industry is education. So I'm going to choose the scientist from the icons and I'm gonna draw a picture of a new opportunity at the intersection of education and science. So for my, for my um, sketch, I sketched a research scientist located at a school site. So in the next two minutes or so, create your mashup and then sketch your new opportunity. All right, you have about 15 more seconds. Okay. Oops. There we go. So now let's take that idea you just drew and sketched out and let's label it and explain it. So now that you have your sketch, what would you label it? You could do an adjective, a part or a purpose or just a part to label. And then how would you explain your new industry in one sentence? So take a minute now to label and explain. And if you get done early and you have it all ready, you can put your explanation sentence in the chat.
All right. Our time is up. Um, but if you have a chance to go ahead and put it in the chat, that would be fabulous. We got a couple of great ones put up. <clears throat> so that's excellent. Mm. All right, so here's what we want to know. Did you feel anxious under pressure to think creatively? So did this activity, yes or no, <laughs> make you feel a little bit anxious? wanting to do like the very best sketch you've ever done, wanting to think of the most brilliant idea you've ever thought of. I think this one person it must be really anxious on the right because they have now blocked themselves out with a giant dark rectangle. <laughs> Are we ready for the poll, Paula? Yeah, let's put the poll up. Um, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> is that a co-founder of ours? If you could just let us know whether you were experiencing some form of anxiety when we asked you to think creatively on demand, yes or no. Um, and if you were, don't, don't feel bad. It's quite typical. In fact, uh, researchers at Georgetown have discovered a specific form of anxiety. To, it's specific to creativity. And they even developed a whole creativity anxiety scale so that people can be measured on where they fall on the, the spectrum. It's very similar to math anxiety, which unfortunately causes people to move away from or disengage from thinking mathematically. Now, because it's creativity anxiety, it's causing people to avoid engaging with problems that need to be solved creatively and of course today in our world faced with increasingly complex problems we need people like you the entrepreneurs out there that are willing to take that risk and engage with those problems and come up with the solutions that we need all right two seconds left i'm gonna end the poll <laughs> Thanks. There now, go. the good news is that we have a solution and we've been doing a lot of workshops and this is the result of one uh, we did with South by Southwest earlier this spring and we had our participants engage in a similar activity that you just engaged in a mashup activity where you uh, you just combined elements from two different industries into a new opportunity. Now it was a full 90 minute workshop and we were able to measure them before and after and we discovered that we were able to have their creativity score double by using our techniques just within that workshop time. So that was very exciting. Uh, we don't have the full 90 minutes tonight, but we will walk you through some more of our techniques so that you can get a nice overview. So get ready for round two with Holly. <laughs> All right, so to continue giving you an idea of some of our techniques we do in our full workshops, I'm going to take you through another activity that is connected still to your industry. Originally, we asked you to come up with a word that represents your industry. This time, we're making a quick sketch to represent your industry. So remember, this is Pictionary style. You don't need to draw Mona Lisa or draw something more you know, elaborate, just something quick, um, symbolic style and less photorealism. So take a minute now to make your quick sketch to represent your industry. So you can do this on your paper or in a digital recording tool. It looks like we've got someone that is able to annotate on our screen. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> try this again. Okay. All right. So hopefully you had a minute there to sketch. And we're going to go on to the next part. So what we want you to do next 
is to write down the first noun related to your sketch that comes to your mind. So we all know that a noun is a person, place, or thing. But remember, some of those things can be intangible objects as well. Freedom is a noun. In case you're feeling like this represents something symbolic for you, you could use a noun like independence, honor, liberty. Those are all nouns. So feel free to put house if that's the word for you. It's most important to write down what comes to your mind first. Okay. And now, there we go. You're going to write another noun related to the first one we did on the screen before. So what is another noun related to the one you just wrote down? You want the next thing that comes to your mind. Don't spend too much time searching for a word. Just write down what you think of, what comes to mind. And now go ahead and write another, an additional noun related to the one above. And that would be your third noun. All right. Here we have some industry icons. So take a look at these icons and you're going to select one or more of the icons, but don't act on it yet. And note your third word that you had from the last screen and hold these in your mind. Pack them in an imaginary backpack as we go on a daydream together. So right now you're selecting one or more icons, you're noting your third word, and you're packing them in your backpack to take with us. All right. So go ahead now and put down your pen just for right now. You can stop writing. We're just going to pack those thoughts, the icons and the third word into our imaginary backpack, and we're going on a camping trip. So allow yourself this creative pause. The most important thing is during this daydream to let your mind wander. You're welcome to relax, close your eyes, find a nice place to sit. Uh, at this time, please don't get on any other devices and try to stay quiet without consuming more information. And then we'll stop together and um, start again in five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start off our daydream with three deep breaths. So go ahead and breathe in with me and I'm going to start the daydream off. At first, it, it isn't very loud. So keep concentrating um, and just listening for sounds that you might hear. Hey, good to see you. Here's your roasting stick, and then all the s'more stuff is on the table right over there. Come join us by the fire when you're ready.
All right, let's go ahead and finish up our daydream with a deep breath. Holly, the daydream's playing again. You might need to close your YouTube ad. That's not me breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Thank you. Did it stop? Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So thank you for daydreaming with us. Go ahead and note how you're feeling at this moment as we continue on. Maybe just jot down a little note or internally notice how you're feeling. All right. So for the next step, you are going to mash up the icons you chose with your third word to create a new opportunity. So pull those back out of your backpack and get those ready and think about a new opportunity that that mashup can create. So for example, my third word was safety. 
and I chose the gaming controller and the AI icons. The new opportunity I came up with was teaching safety to students through gaming with the AI. So go ahead and take a moment to work on that new opportunity. I think you can go ahead and go to the next slide. Okay. So again, like you did before, you're going to sketch your idea for the new opportunity and label and make one sent a one sentence explanation for the new opportunity that you created. So sketch, label, explain. You have about three minutes and then we'll go ahead and get started sharing. All right, about 15 more seconds or so. Okay, let's go to the next slide. And here we have the opportunity to share. So you're welcome to turn on your microphone and take turns sharing with us. Or if you'd like to share your newly imagined opportunity um, please, in the chat, please include the label that you labeled your opportunity and then also the one sentence explanation. Does anyone want to be brave and share? I can go. Awesome. Um, um, I use your icons. My name is Cecily, and um, I got, I used your icons that you had on the left to, to fill up my I just used more than one paper, so I'm going to the beginning again. Excuse me. Um, and 
So the third, the one you want to know all the words, like all the three words, or just the third word? Just the third word. So you were okay. Yes. So we're not starting from the beginning. Okay. So my third word was investments. And the icon I used was the recycle from the first three, the first two words. But I feel like it makes more sense when I go from the beginning. Can I do it from the beginning? Sure. Okay, I'm sorry. So my business industry was taxes. Okay. So the icon was the computer. Um, but my purpose is to stop the dread that we have to face annually. Mm. The new creative idea, though, was to invent something that uploads your forms and automatically calculates the forms needed by the IRS. That symbol I drew afterwards was the dollar sign. So then I put for my first word, cash, second word, crypto, and then the third word was investments. And then I saw like an icon with that recycle with the arrows, you know, with the triangle. And I feel like this time, um, then that the investments, my third word will create actually something way out in third left will, which will be my next endeavor down line when I get older, which is make a free public health clinic. And so with those investments from the third word, I can use that money from the platform from this tax business to branch off to make a free public health clinic with my money. Because they say like entrepreneurs, when you become successful, should give like some of your money away. So that's why I wanna do that. And then um, this, this clinic is for uh, sexual public health. And the industry is the foundation for every investment opportunity I embark on. And then I found like six different investment opportunities to go on to add on to the public health clinic. And also the main foundation of being taxes because every industry has to deal with taxes. Wow. No matter what. It That's fabulous. <laughs> You did some great imagining, imagining and creative thinking there. That's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for all the details. Thank you for sharing so much. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to share next? Yolanda. Oh, you're I'll sure. share next. I raised awesome. my hand. I Thank wanted you. to be a I wanted to be a good student. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um I the very first I'm gonna start from the first slide also. The scientists immediately I connected the scientists and the computer. So I was of course able to put together science and technology, which brings back to um saving lives for us in health and wellness, which is the parent company of our other four companies and technology the computer of course associates me with technology i the ai the artificial intelligence immediately mentally in my head and just all of it with the daydreaming in the cloud i felt was really 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 awesome because it is so important to decompress, release stress, release anxiety. And for me, it's fun. It's not stressful at all because creativity for me has always been fun. Mm -hmm. So I just, from the mental wellness standpoint, I just think being able to breathe and decompress is very powerful. And your artificial intelligence um, gaming is very smart. <laughs> well, thank you. I love your idea. That is excellent. Yeah, we're doing an eSport gaming for the same purpose, though, to, to really um, just so that people can relax mm -hmm. and take their mind away. I had a sister, and I'm going to be done after this. That's really, really smart. I mean, she has like her PhD and... She's in a very high position at Verizon. Um, I'm trying to get a grant from Verizon, <laughs> but um, 
she would watch cartoons, Tom and Jerry, even as an adult. And I say to her, I say, why are you watching Tom and Jerry for so long? And she says, because I need to decompress. Oh. Yeah. So I, I look at what you're doing with the daydreaming as a major healing ailment. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's yeah, I, I like it a lot. Ah, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for doing the presentation. Thank you. Aww, thanks. Paula, we have a fan. <laughs> Take it. All right. So um while you were engaging in these creative challenges, you were also applying intellectual virtues. In particular, we were eliciting these three virtues that are um, part of our creative virtues. So curiosity, open-mindedness, and intellectual courage. So with curiosity, that's, that's you. You're an entrepreneur. You want to know more. You want to explore. You want to ask questions. Uh, being open-minded is that willingness to explore the uh, perspectives of others and to consider their perspective, which is so important with our customer discovery. And then that intellectual courage, being brave enough to even engage in and allow yourself to make connections that might lead to some wild ideas. And then again, having that courage to share them when you might be judged. And so what we're going to do is ask you and encourage you to use your intellectual courage to share your idea that we just had a couple of examples there. We want you to share it outside of this room. So move beyond the walls of the Rec Innovation Lab and share it with this hashtag on social media. So hashtag Rec Imagination and make sure to tag the rec and please tag cloud club and you'll you can see this our twitter handle there and we'll have our um, other social media handles available at the end but um, this is my example here my third word was humanity and i picked the industry of uh, wind power and so my backpacking trip led me to think oh what if there's a way that we could harness human energy when people visit national parks? So that's, that's my big idea. Now you don't have to show, share it with a, a video or an icon like this. You can just type it into your social media post or if you have a sketch, you can snap a picture. But we're, we'd love to see as many as possible out there and see if that generates others' um, thinking ideas. So building upon the ideals of others is so important. So tonight, you engaged in three of our core creativity techniques. You conducted some thinking around mashups where you combined elements from different industries to come up with new opportunities. And you did some brain jumping. That's when you bounced from noun to noun to noun. Uh, the purpose there was to create some distance between concepts, which leads to more divergent thinking. And then we also had our foundational technique of purposeful daydreaming, which is very powerful as a standalone way to develop your creative practice. And we've also discovered that when we partner it and pair it with our other techniques, it magnifies the effects. Now, there's a lot behind purposeful daydreaming, in particular, multiple benefits. The neuroscience is fascinating, but we're out of time for tonight. <laughs> So you'll just have to go to our website, mycloudclub.org. And if you're looking for ways to develop your own personal creative practice, you'll be able to find uh, some tools and resources there. You can um, access our other guided daydreaming. We have several uh, guided daydreaming um, audio experiences that you can try, that you can use on your own. You can also access other resources. 
And if you're looking for uh, ways to incorporate uh, creativity and innovation into your organization, then you can uh, download our instructor guide and you can also email us and we'll be happy to work with you to bring workshops or some consulting. So thanks everyone. I hope you had fun. It's been really uh, gratifying to be able to share uh, what we have with you and hopefully help you in that regard. And we are ready for your questions. Thank you, Paula. We're, that was excellent. We really appreciate you presenting this and everyone, Holly, Nick, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So if we have any questions, I didn't, I just wanted to jump in there and just make sure I said that before you guys left. So, but um, does anyone have any questions? Well, they know where to find the answers, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and we're excited to see your postings of your ideas. Awesome. I have a quick question for you guys. Um, I, I've seen on social media that you guys have worked with a couple of programs. And so do you guys work with organizations or with schools or different um, community groups? Yes. <laughs> We do. We, uh, we have, we, we customize what we do according to the audience, but it's all basically the same core techniques. And we um, work with very young or teachers or educators with very young students all the way through the university level, as well as other organizations. Um, anyone that's looking to um, really work on that um, creativity, even as a wellness aspect, but uh, finding out how and why and easy ways to leverage it, uh, we can do that. Awesome. And is this a, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have one more question. <laughs> Does uh, focusing on your creativity help with individuals who are experiencing like burnout in their jobs? Because I've been reading a lot of LinkedIn posts and articles and you know, um, it seems to be a major problem right now with employees. It is a major problem, and the problem is that there's such a focus on productivity, and that focus on productivity causes um, employees to feel that they're not valued, only their ability to have an output is valued. And so when um, leaders, administrators, uh, when they communicate that they value creativity and that they honor the time that it takes to have the creative process, which including that downtime, that incubation time, whether it's, uh, you know, cer certain industries have, like Google have a nap room, right? Or whether, they're, you know, you always hear the famous ping pong tables. Well, that's not just for fun, it's a nice to have. It's because the leadership is sending that message that we value you as a human being. Of course, we want you to enjoy um, your, your workplace setting, but we also know that in the end, you're going to be more valuable to us if you have that uh, time for cognitive replenishment. Cool, thank you. I love that. I love the cognitive replenishment. Thank you, Yolanda. I think so many people can just relate, right? Into the... Um the neuroscience and the neurons of our brain. Exactly. It, it is <laughs> this biological need to have that replenishment time that is being um, less and less uh, provided. Angela definitely used the keyword burnout. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. And then when you're burned out, you can't create, you can't think, you're not productive. So this is, this is great. Thanks. Definitely think there's a lot of people in marketing that could be just, they could benefit from this so much because with marketing, you have to be creative. You have to be edgy. You have to come up with new content. You have so many different markets in, in target segments and products. And, you know, they, some people get in a rut, you know, or they just stick with what's been done, what's been working, you know, and you definitely need that time to to get creative, so.
Great point. This is an awesome product. I'm, I, I wanted to ask one more. Did you mention the QR codes and in, in the paintings? Because I saw that on one of the Cloud Club Collective videos. And I wanted to ask about that. So do you guys do that? Yeah, it's on our website. Um, yeah. So on our website, we also have interactive artwork so that you can, you know, have a work of art um, that is lovely, that's uh, inspired visually by uh, our different daydreams. And then it includes a QR code so you can access that audio guide, have the beautiful imagery and have a more immersive experience. And we're also starting to um, develop some more expanded immersive experiences. So we're excited about that. That's your AI. Well, we definitely are, have uh, plans with AI, especially with the app that's mm -hmm. in development. Oh, Super great. Cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Paula, is there any one tidbit that you'd like to leave us tonight with as we close up? Or if anyone has any more questions, um, you know, and if you want to reach out to Cloud Club Collective, you can connect with them on social media. I highly recommend it. They have their socials right there. And Paula, <laughs> thanks. Sure. My, um, the, what I'd like to leave you with is that everybody has an inner creative genius and it's just waiting to be nurtured. And we also all daydream. So all you need to do is start to leverage that, what you already have, that, cap that capability, that capacity and the activity, put them, put them together strategically and develop your creative practice and then tap into us and we'll help you bring it along even further. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your workshop tonight and I can't wait for your next one. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.